The Bell X-1 is a rocket engine-powered aircraft, first airplane to break the sound barrier in level flight. The E signated originally as the XS-1, and was a joint national advisory committee for aeronautics U.S. Army Air Force's U.S. Air Force supersonic research project built by Bell Aircraft. The X-1, piloted by Chuck Yeager, was the first manned airplane to exceed the speed of sound in level flight and was the first of the X-planes, a series of American experimental rocket planes designed for testing new technologies. In 1942, the United Kingdom's Ministry of Aviation began a top-secret project with Miles Aircraft to develop the world's first aircraft capable of breaking the sound barrier. The project resulted in the development of the prototype turbojet-powered Miles M.52, designed to reach 1,000 miles per hour in level flight, and to climb to an altitude of 36,000 feet in 1 minute and 30 seconds. Miles Chief Aerodynamicist Dennis Bancroft stated that Bell Aircraft personnel visited Miles later in 1944, and were given access to the drawings and research on the M.52, but the U.S. reneged on the agreement and no data was forthcoming in return. Early specifications for the aircraft were for a piloted supersonic vehicle that could fly at 800 miles per hour at 35,000 feet for 2 to 5 minutes. On 16 March 1945, the U.S. Army Air Force's Flight Test Division and the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics contracted with the Bell Aircraft Company to build three XS-1 aircraft to obtain flight data on conditions in the transonic speed range. The aircraft's designers built a rocket plane after considering alternatives. An aircraft with both turbojet and rocket engines would be too large and complex. 50 caliber machine gun bullet, known to be stable in supersonic flight. Following conversion of the X-1's horizontal tail to all moving, test pilot Chuck Yeager verified it experimentally, and all subsequent supersonic aircraft would either have an all moving tail plane or be tailless delt wing types. Bell Aircraft Chief Test Pilot Jack Wollums became the first person to fly the XS-1. Williams completed nine more glide flights over Pine Castle, with the B-29 dropping the aircraft at 29,000 feet and the XS-1 landing 12 minutes later at about 110 miles per hour. In March 1946 the number no. 1 rocket plane was returned to Bell Aircraft in Buffalo, New York for modifications to prepare for the powered flight tests. Two chambers were ignited, but the aircraft accelerated so quickly that one chamber was turned off until reignition at 35,000 feet, reaching max 0.795. After the chambers were turned off the aircraft descended to 15,000 feet, where all four chambers were briefly tested. After Willem's death on 30 August 1946, Chalmers Slick Goodlin was the primary Bell aircraft test pilot for the X-11. The test program was acquired by the Army Air Force Flight Test Division on 24 June after months of negotiation. Flight tests of the X-12 would be conducted by NACA to provide design data for later production high-performance aircraft. The first manned supersonic flight occurred on 14 October 1947, less than a month after the U.S. Air Force had been created as a separate service. The flight data collected by the NACA from the X-1 tests then proved invaluable to further U.S. fighter design throughout the latter half of the 20th century. In 1997, the United States Postal Service issued a 50th anniversary commemorative stamp recognizing the Bell X-16062 aircraft as the first aeronautical vehicle to fly at supersonic speed of approximately Mach 1.06. Later variants of the X-1 were built to test different aspects of supersonic flight, one of these, the X-1A, with Jaeger at the controls, inadvertently demonstrated a very dangerous characteristic of fast supersonic flight, inertia coupling. The aircraft first flew, unpowered, on 14 February 1953 at Edwards AFB, with the first powered flight on 21 February. Unlike Crossfield in the Skyrocket, Jaeger achieved that in level flight. NACA continued to fly the aircraft until January 1958, when cracks in the fuel tanks forced its grounding. On 24 July 1951, with Bell test pilot Gene Skip Ziegler at the controls, the X-1D was launched over Rogers Dry Lake, on what was to become the only successful flight of its career. 
On the 22nd of August 1951, the X-1D was lost in a fuel explosion during preparations for the first powered flight. Concerns about metal fatigue in the nitrogen fuel system resulted in the grounding of the X-12 after its 54th flight in its original configuration. Walker left the X-1E program during 1958, after 21 flights, attaining a maximum speed of Mach 2.21. NACA research pilot John B. Mackay took his place during September 1958, completing five flights in pursuit of Mach 3 before the X-1E was permanently grounded after its 26th flight, during November 1958, due to the discovery of structural cracks in the fuel tank wall. X-11, Air Force serial number 462062, is currently displayed in the Milestones of Flight Gallery of the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., alongside the Spirit of St. Louis and Space Ship 1. Number 462063, is on display in front of the NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center Headquarters Building at Edwards Air Force Base, California. X-1E, 1450 mph maximum speed, Mach 2.44. X-1E, M2.24 endurance, 5 minutes powered flight. X-1E to X-1D, 4 minutes 40 seconds powered flight. X-1E, 4 minutes 45 seconds powered flight service ceiling, 70,000 feet.